in the news, Gonky. Mm. Yes. Uh, and people will always the. I don't know why people get mad at the way we say Grippen. Say it right. And that is that is the way I. I, know, dude, I went I back just... and watched the interview I had with the <clears throat> Sob guys, and that's what they said. I don't know. Grippen. Yeah. Grippen. 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 It's Grippen. Uh, the Swedish Grippen conducts its first uh, visual identifications over the Baltic Sea as a NATO member, which, as you know, uh, they were just Sweden was recently uh, admitted as part of NATO. They joined our fine organization. And the, one of the first things they did, they did a, a, an air patrol with the uh, coordinated with the Swedish jets and the Belgian F-16 fighter squadron or fighter jets. Uh, just It's redundant. They're just fighters uh and they intercepted and vid to russian tu-134 that was not on a flight plan later in the day another uh an-26 showed on nato's radar screens and the kayak alerted the german quick reaction force uh, alert interceptors to launch and establish further details the swedish gripen jets were also launched and they uh conducted a vid on the um AN-26, sorry. So they they VID'd the AN-26, the TU-134. Uh, yeah, so they did. So they did both. They did two. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a picture of of them, the Gripen and the Viper. Jet. Yep. That is some kind of gang sign he's doing. <laughs> uh, and then there it is with the... Uh, yeah, look at that. German Eurofighter. That's what do you cool. think looks better, dude? Man, they're both good looking, Matt. Yeah. I I, well, know. you're you're very vain, so I didn't know. Yeah. Maybe. I, I, you know, I I like the there. I don't know. I like the the Typhoon because it has two engines, but I. Um, yeah. But the, the Gripen is the Gripen. The Canards look. I mean, it looks like the um the dinosaur. You know, the one that'll uh, spit the venom at you when it. Oh. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, well, dude, look at typh typhoons got the got the canards too. It's more like a catfish. It's more I like whiskers. You. It's farther yeah, forward. Like this looks like it's, you know. They're both they're both good looking jets. Yeah, like you're that fat guy in Jurassic Park. Oh, <laughs> uh, here come the hate comments. Mover and Gawky were so disrespectful to the Gripen. The Gripen. Oh, I would I'd God. like to fly both. Yeah, but you don't want to fly that third one up there. What is no, that? It's an airliner. Who cares? It's a TU. That's the TU, yeah. whatever. Uh, that is just, yeah. That's some dude trying to not die. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's probably got, they probably got their cameras out. Look, a typhoon and a gripping. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I thought that was a good thing to talk about. Yeah. They're part of NATO. We've talked about them as far as, which we got hate mail for that one too. Yeah. Uh, about them and, and producing jets for Ukraine or you're given the, the grip and C or even the grip and E. I will say that that aircraft is awesome. Um, I've done the interview with one of the, their test pilots and we've seen their demos. It's a, it's a nine G jet. It's got an awesome turn rate, turn radius and uh, a great software suite. You know, if you ever look at it, it's got all the, the MFDs and stuff. So I, I think it's awesome that they're now, they're not neutral. They're part of NATO and they're now uh, an asset and an ally. They've always been an ally, but an actual, uh, NATO ally. So um, the fact that they're out there and going to work, this is more symbolic than anything. Uh, obviously, the Eurofighter or the Viper could have handled either of these scrambles, but the fact that they're going up there and showing that they're not only committed to the cause, but actively participating, <clears throat> I think is pretty cool. And it what it does is it demonstrates to Russia the resolve. I mean, the, Russia started a war of aggression and created a situation where they were trying to avoid Ukraine becoming a NATO partner and keep people from joining NATO. And what did they do? They forced a very um, capable ally to join NATO. And now it's even stronger. And now, you know, if, if something does kick off, they're even more, uh, you know, we're more capable. Yeah. It also shows the Gripen's ability to work with, uh, you know, other NATO jets. Right. So yeah. I think that's one of the things that we did very poorly in, especially in the Navy is working, playing with others. You know, um, we primarily just flew amongst ourselves, you know, even, I mean, even like 
within yeah. the air wing, which you know, within you and your sister squadron. So, um, you know, obviously the F 16 and the, the Gripen have different capabilities, but in uh, the Typhoon, of course, but uh, you know, to work together to do a real world, real world intercept, I think that's really cool. It needs to be yes. more of that. It's the allies you want to have. Yeah. You, you want to have competent, capable allies that are, are willing to, to pull their own weight. So it's awesome that they're a part of that and we, we welcome them. Yep. Awesome.